Okay, before we are using the LCD for display purpose, LCD has a need to be initialized either by the internal reset circuit or sending set of command to initialize the LCD. So in this tutorial, we are sending set of instruction to initialize the LCD. So to initialize the LCD, we need to write the following sequence in our program. The first, we need to send command 0x3x three times three times with uh, some delay 20 milliseconds so uh, 0x3x is a command for 8-bit mode to line lcd so we send it three times and then after that and after that we send a command 0e 0e for display on cursor on and then we send a command 01 so this is for clear lcd screen and next the last step is we send a 06 this is a to automatic shift the cursor right after we uh, send the character okay this is a, a, a step to initialize the lcd okay next we do uh, example 3a 3a example 3a so you can refer to our textbook page uh, 66 for example 3a so in this example so we want to display a character abc uh, to position 0 line 1 lcd so we want to dis display character abc on lcd uh, at a position 0 line 1 lcd so the connections are uh, as sh uh, shown in a previously in the circuit diagram. Let's say we connect a PB0 to PB7 to LCD D0 to D7 and then PA5 to RS pin LCD, PA7 to enable pin and then right we connect direct to the ROM. Okay, first we need to write the include STM32F103 and then we define the RS pin and enable pin. So RS pin is connected to PA5. So in binary, so PA5 is equal to 0010 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is PA5. PA5 is set to 1. So in hexa is equal to 2 0. Okay, you can write RS 0x 2 0 or RS 0x 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then we define the enable pin so enable pin is connected to pin a7 so this is a7 we set the a7 so is uh, in hexa is uh, 80 so so we define 0x 0, 0080 0, 0, or you can write uh, 0x 80 and then we declare the function so in this program we use a three function the first function is for command so this means we want to send a command so this uh, we call the fun function void lcd command so the name of the function is lcd command and then the second function is uh, lcd data okay, lcd data this is to send the character and then the third uh, function is delay in millisecond so we name it as delay ms play in millisecond okay there is the first part of our program so we define rs enable and then we declare the function uh, we use in this program okay the next part is to set up the clock and the, G the gpio point uh, as usual uh, as we have done in our previous class the first we set a clock for gpio a and B. So in this uh, tutorial, we use two port, GPIO A and B. So we need to enable uh, the clock for GPIO A and B. So we type RCC APB2 enable register 0x0C. So you can use equal or or equal. So these are for uh, uh, GPIO A and B. And then we configure port B0 to B7 as output. And then 
PA5 and 7 as output. So, okay, PA5 and output uh, uh, connect to RS and enable pin. Okay, that's a, a second part. This means to configure the the clock and uh, the GPIO. Okay, then next part is to write a program to initialize the LCD. So before we use, uh, we can use the LCD, we need to initialize its words. Okay, I refer back to our notes. Uh, there are several steps we need to do in initialize the LCD. First, we need to send a command 38 and command 38 is a command for 8-bit mode data to line LCD. So we we write we write uh, command LCD LCD command 0x38 okay in this parameter in the parenthesis so this is called the functions LCD command with parameter 30x what happened here when we call the function LCD command it will run it will run to the LCD command functions this is a LCD command function this function is uh, this LCD command function is uh, writing below the main program. Okay, below the main program. The first instruction here is to reset the RS fin. Okay, uh, this is a GPIO A, O, D, R, N with uh, inverse RS. So, this is the instruction in LCD command uh, function is to reset RS pin. This means that to make the RS pin become low. As uh, I stated before this, to send a command to LCD, so RS, RS pin must set to low. So in this instruction, so it's set uh, to reset the RS pin to low. Okay, the second instruction is uh, second instruction is to send command 38 to the ODR. So this will send the command to the LCD. So you can send the command to LCD. And then the next instruction, we need to send high to low pass to enable pin. So we send the high to low pass to the enable pin with a one millisecond delay. So this is a high and then this is a low pass to uh, enable pin with a delay one millisecond. With, uh, so after the program uh, run, finish, execute the LCD command function and then the program will go back to the main program and run the next instruction which is a delay 10 millisecond so we need to send this command 38 three times so we do it three times and then we send a command display on cursor on is that is zero e okay the instruction is zero e for uh, display on cursor on okay following by uh, with a zero one then with a zero one clear lcd and then LCD command 06 to shift the cursor. Shift the cursor. Okay. So this is uh, for initialization, uh, the LCD. And then we follow by set set the position. We set the position. For in uh, in this tutorial, we want uh, the character start at the position 0, line 1. So we send the command, LCD command 08. A zero x and eight zero, so this is to set the cursor to position zero, line one. Okay, so we complete writing the syntax for initialization part, and now we want to send a character A B C, character A B C on uh, one by one, character A B C one by one uh, at a time. Okay, to send a character, we can use uh, uh, two two ways uh, for example in the first syntax i use the uh, ascii code for a so lcd data 0x41 or we can use uh, the character can you read the character uh, uh, in the single code eh? lcd data b right this and single code so we type the lcd data followed by the data the character we want to display so in this example, we want to show how to transfer the character by character. Okay, we will show character by character. 
if you want a delay between one character and another character so you just put a delay uh, here before character A to character B just put a delay character B to the character C uh, put a delay okay uh, we will cover how to send a string like hello or selamat datang in the next example so in this example we just want to cover how to uh, how to display a character A, B and C. Okay, let's do some uh, practical and to show the result in a simulation.